Hello everyone. I hope you've installed Blender and played around with it using the new skills you learned in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you go watch it right now and come back to this video after. Today, you're going to set the system unit to metric. We'll be using millimeters to design our models. You're going to create a cylinder Learn to go from object mode to edit mode. And I'm going to tell you about vertices, edges, and planes. Let's get to work. All right, so to recap on what we did in the last video, you learned how to zoom in and out, to pan your view, to rotate your view. You learned how to uh, change views directly front view in the y-axis x-axis from the side, z-axis from the top. All these things you can do with these widgets up here on the right. Zoom, pan, and rotate your view. But it's much more convenient to learn quickly how to do it with your keyboard. You're gonna save a lot of time with this. Also in our view here, you can always uh, hide this tool menu with the T to hide the tool, tool menu T and hide the numbers panel here with N so N and T what we're gonna do right now is set up your unit into millimeters on the sidebar here scene it's this little tab with a cone and the sphere metric set it to metric and uh, unit scale is 0 0.001, so that's a millimeter. Rotation degrees, length is millimeters. So now we're in millimeter mode. If you have a problem with your grid that disappeared here, go into your overlay, grid overlay, viewport overlays, and scale 0, 0, 001. This is going to bring back your, uh, your grid. This is your cursor. You can place your cursor at different places in space. This is where, for example, if I have, uh, I want to add a new uh, cube, it's going to be set up in your cursor position. Shift, right click. Shift, right click. Or you can s place it exactly where you need by going to View tab here and placing it in a specific position and a specific rotation. All right, so we still have this cube in the center of our view here. We like that cube, but uh, as I said in the other video, cylinders are more useful. So we're going to get rid of this cube. You know how, if you don't watch the previous video. Now we have our cursor is in the zero zero position. Now we're going to add a, a new cylinder. So you press Shift A, go into Add menu. You can either do it from Shift A or go to Add up here, Mesh, Cylinder. This brings up our cylinder here with its, uh, you can define the parameters for your new cylinder here. So we're going to put it three, three millimeters radius, so 6 uh, millimeters diameter, and 6 millimeters depth. We set it in location 0, 0, 0 with 0 rotation. So here it is, dead center. Now we have a fresh cylinder on our view in location 0, 0, 0. What we want to do now is save our default view. Go into File, Default, Save Startup File save the new startup file. So now instead of having the cube when you load Blender, you're gonna have the cylinder. If you want to uh, change these parameters, you can always go into your item tab right here. Now if you slide the X location, whoop, you slide along the X axis. You can slide along the Y axis. You can slide along the Z axis. You can rotate on the X, and you get the idea. 
Right now, we're in object mode. If you see up here on the left, this is object mode. By pressing tab, we go into edit mode. When you're in edit mode, you can edit the objects. You edit objects according to the vertices, edges, and planes. A vertice is one dot in a three-dimensional space. So one dot, one point in space at a given coordinate is a vertice. One edge is where two vertices join. So an edge is a line between two vertices. And a plane, a closed space between edges. So if you want to grab, say, the top of this cylinder, grab it and pull it up, you can do that. So you grab it, press Z to constrain it to the Z axis, and move it around. You can grab it, constrain it to the X axis, move it around. Oh, my view is around there. X axis, grab it Z axis, grab it Y axis. So you can constrain it to one, uh, one axis by pressing grab X to constrain it or Y or Z. You can select a face, grab it, constrain it to the axis you want to work on and slide it. Now say we want to move this plane up two millimeters. We go on our keyboard, letter G, letter Z to constrain in the Z axis and two. So G, Z, two, enter. Say we want to move this plane three millimeters in the X axis. We go G for grab, move, X, three, enter. Another thing you're going to learn today, when you have a plane selected, you press I for inset, I, inset, slide. This insets a shape inside your plane. Once you've inset a plane, you can extrude it, E, extrude, press E, you can pop it out, pop it in. So, inset, slide, extrude, inset, slide, extrude. I can, for example, choose this face, extrude it, inset it, extrude it. So, you just learned how to inset a plane and extrude a plane. So I could extrude this plane up, scale it, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, and have tons of fun. So I hope you learned something new. Don't hesitate to drop any question in the comment section. If you haven't done so already, subscribe uh, to the channel. Ring the little bell so you're notified when I release part three. Uh, you can like the video. Uh, in the next video, we'll actually model a simple object and uh, learn about Booleans. So thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.